Meet Rachel. She is in her final semester of university at QUT. Rachel has one goal, to land a graduate position at a PR firm straight out of uni. Rachel has to take the subject AMB 310 to complete her degree. As a fourth year student, Rachel thinks to herself, I'm going to source the easiest internship out there so I can pass this subject with as little effort as possible. Rachel quickly snaps out of this attitude and thinks, if I really want to reach my goal of landing a grad job, I may as well do this right. And that is exactly what I did. In August, I flew to Sydney to intern at the international PR firm, Weber Shenwick. This video is for the future students of AMB 310 who will soon start looking into internship opportunities. The QUT Business course sets students up for graduate success by incorporating the assurance of learning goals into every subject. These include knowledge and technological skills, professional communication, teamwork and self, higher order thinking, and social, ethical, and global understanding. These are the AOL goals that I found most relevant to my internship experience at Weber Shanwick. By immersing myself in a work integrated learning environment, I was able to take the knowledge and technological skills obtained from my degree and apply this theory in a practical setting. An example of this is when I had to write a pitch letter to a journalist during my internship. I recalled that in PR techniques, the lecturer recommended doing prior research and creating a media list of an, on a number of journalists. By applying this technical knowledge and skills learned from this subject, I was able to confidently complete this task and write a well-researched and creative pitch. The QUT business degree gives students plenty of opportunity to enhance their written and verbal communication skills through various assessment items. The subject, working in business, helped me become more conscious of my emotional intelligence and how to act professionally. My literacy skills allow me to proficiently edit documents, assemble reports, and complete simple tasks such as writing emails effectively to my fellow colleagues. The internship program was incredibly well-structured and designed to genuinely help university students transition into the real world. Every employee was so enthusiastic about their clients, which taught me about the importance of a good work ethic and how this can deliver great results. At the start, I found it difficult to initiate conversation with other employees. This is because I wanted others to notice that I was working hard and dedicated to completing tasks. I went in expecting to make a group of best friends, but instead left with just a really great professional network. I believe this internship gave me the confidence to apply for graduate positions. Before this internship, I felt like I wasn't really ready for a grad job, but after this experience, I have the practical skills necessary to work in a full-time role. Working in a large firm can seem quite daunting. Before I commenced my internship, I was concerned that I would be tasked with a job that I was incapable of doing. What I found surprising was how helpful every employee was and how specific and detailed they were when delegating tasks. This took me by surprise as I thought everyone would be so busy with their own work that they would not spend as much time on me. However, this was the complete opposite. In the first week of my internship, I mapped out three key objectives with my supervisor, which I achieved at the completion of my three weeks. I recommend this as a great way to achieve your goal. My objectives were to gain exposure to every specialized practice to get a clear understanding of my future career path, participate in a minimum of two meetings over the three week period, and to meet with the managing director to discuss different career options and the prospect of working for Weber Shanwick in the future. So I will leave you with my three key pieces of advice. Number one, start searching for your internship approximately three months before you commence A and B 310. Number two, don't settle for mediocrity. Think of your dream internship and email the company direct to see if there are any opportunities. And finally, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great.